Hey, now. Guys, I went batshit crazy this week and maybe a little bit last week. Um, gas prices have been, like, super high. And um, the weather here in uh, Northeast Ohio has been kind of crappy. So I held off driving anywhere, really. And, you know, but a couple of days ago, I just bit the bullet. I found the cheapest gas possible, filled up, and just drove. And went to a few shops. So the vast majority of the books that I show you are from comic book shops. But really quick, look at this. Got myself a Bruce Willis action figure. Isn't that awesome? Like, how do you walk past a Bruce Willis action figure and not buy it? You just go ahead and buy it. That's what it, That's what you do. So, undeniable. Undeniable. Okay. DC Comics presents number 47. Uh, now, this is the first appearance of uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe in comic book form. Uh, in those mini comics that appear uh, with the action figures back in the day, those don't count. All right. Uh, of all the books that I'm showing you, this is the one that I am the most happy to have. I don't know if it was on your list, but it was on mine. Okay. Um, just super happy. Um, every comic book store that I've, I've like I've been to, I, I've tried to find. You know, looking for this, it's always gone. Like you'll see, uh, DC Comics presents number forty-five to or forty-six to forty-eight, and then this is always gone. So I am so happy to have this. I mean, in the the price that I paid and the condition that it's in, uh, just I mean, I can't be happier. Could not be happier. Happier. You know what? Let's let's zoom in. Look at the look at the condition on this. And I tell you what, eBay, like just punch in uh, DC Comics presents forty seven, and you'll be surprised at what this book is going for. Look at uh, click on the sold listings. You, I think you just might be surprised. But look at this, man. This is nice. Ugh, white. Whites are white. Ugh, deep color. Just terrific. I mean, this is this just might be a near mint book right here. I don't throw that term around a lot, but this is this just might be near mint. Oh, I, like I could go on all day about this book. How just thrilled I am to have it, but I won't. Marvel feature number four. Uh, this is an upgrade of a book that I've had of um, a book that I had before. Um, and I think I showed it before. Uh, I can't remember, but uh, here we go with um, not Scott Lang Ant Man, but uh, the Hank Pym Ant Man. He's a professor, and Peter Parker is one of his students. And Peter Parker makes an appearance in the book. All right, um, high grade, you know, higher grade copy, probably very fine. You know what? Come on, let's show let's show you off too. Look at that. Really, really minimal creasing along the spine. This is really nice. Super nice. This is a book that I really was looking to upgrade, and I did. I did it, and I'm happy. Okay, now I'm gonna show you this. Now this is the bag and the board that this that uh, Marvel feature came in. I mean, I really hope you can see this, and I hope and I hope this translates well. Look at the uh, look at the amount of yellowing here. Look at the look at the color transfer. All right. I mean, this is as a as a as a collector. This is like, ugh, this is terrible. So, if you have an older book that means anything to you, I would r highly recommend getting it out of that bag and board. You know, the the poly bag and the uh, BCW style bag and board. I can't I can't stress these enough. All right, my lights half backs. Can't stress those enough. All right. We're moving right along. Maiden, Potter Man, number 86. Now, this is the first appearance of uh, Black Widow in her iconic uh, fan favorite costume. Um, you know, it's a it's a beat up copy. You know, well, I don't want to say it's beat up, but, you know, probably in probably very good condition. And I was at the store where I picked this up at, and the guy, he wanted to sell me this book. Uh, maybe a couple of notches better than this one for like seventy bucks. I'm like, mm, ain't that important to me? So, but if I can find the, you know, if I can upgrade it at a decent price, I'll do so. But I ain't paying seventy bucks. All right. 
uh, more made in Potter Man goodness with uh, 252. Now, this is a book that I've, you just look. This is one of those books that you look that you've seen so many times. Even if you don't own it, you kind of feel like you already do because you just see, just seen the cover so much. I own it, and that's that. I'm, I'm done harping on it. Okay. Thor, number uh, 165, first appearance of Adam Warlock, but he's not called Adam Warlock, he's called Him. Um, him made his first appearance in um, Fantastic Four, 66 and 67, um, but he was like in some weird cocoon thing. I don't have those issues, but... And I think he make it, makes his emergence from the cocoon in, uh, in this issue right here. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure what grade to give this, but probably fine plus or something like that i don't know and i'm glad the it's kind of it's the, it has the white border around it so like all those creases really don't show up along the spine so thrilled i'm a cheater okay uh tales of suspense number uh 75 now this is the first appearance of uh, captain america's main squeeze uh sharon carter the blonde chick Okay, so uh, this is in I, when I bought it. They ha I bought this online, and they had it marked as very fine, mm. probably very fine minus at the most. You know, I'm I'm definitely glad to have it. I think it was it's worth having. Okay, so I think she's going to be featured in uh, the new cat movie. So, yeah, yeah, happy to have it. Okay, Batman. Uh, so you see, do you see the amount of books that I have? Uh, not yet. You will. Uh, Batman Harley Quinn. Uh, this is... Uh, this book introduced... I think there's like a million prints of this already. And this is the first print. This introduces uh, Harley Quinn into the uh, regular continuity of... The then regular continuity of the uh, DC Universe. Alright, so definitely a book. This is a really, really popular book. Okay, now we're going to take a... A newer comic... Well, actually, let's keep on with the superheroes. Um, uh, come on, let's get all these in at once. Really fast. Okay. From the Batman... new. This is DC New 52. This is Batman. These are the 1 in 25 variants here. Uh, you have Death in the Family, number 17. You have number 6, Quarter of the Owls. And you have... Um, and you have number two. This is the Jim Lee variant. I think of all, after number one, after uh, number two, the Jim Lee variant is probably the next popular book after that. Or at least I think so. Or at least it should be. I'm so happy. To have, like This is the book that I've been looking for too. And when I found it at the comic book shop, super, super, super happy. All right, let's get these out of the way. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take ourselves a little indie comic book break here. Okay? And we're going to start things off with... Now, these are really popular titles, okay? So pay attention to these. Nowhere Men, number one. Um, the fir a first print, first issue. Um, in really good shape, this is like a $40 book, and it just came out in November. Again, I think there's movie talk, I think. I don't know. But it's a really popular book. This is in probably fine minus condition because there's like... it's kind of It's kind of roughed up a little bit. There's... Um, dirt here, and there's like a tear right there. But I only paid cover price for it, and I think it's worth. Even in this condition, it's worth more than cover price, way more than that. Peter Panzer Faust, number seven. This is the um, this has the uh, Nowhere Men preview. Okay, so and Peter Panzer Faust is already a popular, super popular title. So, eh. all right, Manhattan Projects. Number one, uh, this is, again, a really popular book. Uh, first printing in really good shape is worth 50 bucks. And uh, this is, like, in fine condition. There's, you know, blunting. There's, like, a dense kind of all, all along the spine, and it's a little dirty. But, again, still worth more than what I paid for it. Manhattan Projects, number three. I think I have number two, but I don't know where the hell it is. Okay, mind management number three. Um, the first issue is going for like fifty bucks. <clears throat> number three is again popular. It's an it's a it's in the er, it's early in the run, so 
definitely worth finding. Uh, and Saga number three, I paid a premium on this. I didn't get it for cover price. Boo hoo. But uh, again, a really, really, really popular title. Saga number four, paid cover price for that. Happy. And number six. So all three, all however many of those titles I showed you, um, be on the lookout for those. All right. Okay, back to some old school shit. All right. Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. I found two copies. Now, both of these copies are, you know, kind of in what... It, 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 there's deep color going on here, so I'm really happy about that. But there's warpage. Like, they were, like, held in steam or something like that. So both of them. And the, and the staple is loose on the uh, spine right there. But I paid $5 a piece for them. And, I, and again, they're, I think even in this condition, in the condition, um, I'm showing you they're worth more than what I paid for them. Okay, we're, man. Defenders. We're keeping on moving. Keeping on moving. Defenders number four. Uh, I like Valkyrie. Okay. Uh, let's let's ponder on it some more. Okay. Uh, Defenders number 17. Uh, Luke Cage appearance. I like Luke Cage in anything other than his own, than his own title. Luke Cage Hero for Hire, eh, 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 kind of sucky. But him in the Marvel Universe, awesome. I, I like this character a lot. Cool character. Okay, keeping on moving. Daredevil number 99. Um, uh, love triangle between Hawkeye, Daredevil, and uh, Black Widow. All three of them are sluts. Uh, Micronauts number one. Eh. Yeah, I got it for five bucks. Yeah, it's in, you know, you know, high grade shape, I think, I guess. Yeah. Okay, keeping on moving. Invincible Iron Man 169. Um, I was able to find some more copies of um, Captain America 360 and 359. Yeah, two bucks a piece. What are you gonna do? You can't can't pass those up. Okay, Maiden Pot of Man. Number one, this is from 1999. Now, this starts the trend of, uh, to me, this is history because it starts the trend of uh, books, long-running books, uh, interrupting their regular numbering to do a number one, go back to number one. I'm like, you hardly ever saw that prior to this. I th I, me personally, my opinion, you hardly ever saw that. And um, it starts that annoying-ass trend. Now, before this, you know, I mean, in the case can be made like with X-Men and Spider-Man from uh, the early 90s, but it, it didn't interrupt the long, those long running titles. OK, they just kind of started with like number ones, but they still kept X-Men and a made in Spider-Man. But OK, enough. But this is a history right there. OK, now, last but not least, we have. Uh, New Mutants, well, this is Marvel Graphic Novel number four, and this is the um, first appearance of the New Mutants. You think uh, New Mutants number one would be the first appearance? No. Here we go right here. Uh, first appearance of um, Noteworthy, first appearance of um, Sunspot and Cannonball, the, both of them are in the uh, new mute or uh, are in the new Avengers team. So both of these guys are Avengers. I think it's worth having. Um, Man, this video is running a little long, but it's okay. I had a lot of books to get through, and thanks for sticking with me. And uh, again, with the condition, I mean, this is one of those books that I kept passing on, but had to get it. Finally, I bit the bullet. It's in high grade. You know, I think I got it at a decent price. So before this goes to 15 minutes, and I'm not able to upload from my phone. Um, I want to say thank you for watching, and... Uh, See you next week or see you next time.